this is number three. So if you guys are um, looking at this, they have a, they said use special right triangles, 30 degrees, right? So what we're going to do is we need to create a special right triangle, which is the 30, 60, 90. All right. And one actually thing that I didn't go over with you, so I'm glad actually you guys brought this up. But we've talked about the relationships with this, is if you know this is going to be x, then the hypotenuse is going to be 2x. And then our long leg is going to be x times the square root of 3. Right? So now what we're going to do is actually I'm just going to assign a value in for x. All right? And what we're going to use actually for this value is I'm just going to rewrite this. And just tell me, guys, if this follows along the same ratios. Would that, follow, would that triangle follow the same ratio as over here? Sure. Well, is this oh, twice no, that? No. no. Is, this, is this twice that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Is this that times the square root of 3? Is that square root of 3 times 1 half? Yeah, is the square root of 3 times 1 half equal to that? Yes, it is. So when we're asking to use the special right triangles, yes, try to look. When we're going through on this, this is what I'm telling you, how we're going to use special right triangles to evaluate. Okay. Now, we're going to go through an easy part as well, which is be your calculator, which is very nice. But one thing that they're asking for is the sine of 30 degrees. So now we need to determine where 30 degrees is. Well, we're talking about 30 degrees is up here. So remember, 30 degrees, or sine of any angle, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. All right. So if I look at 30 degrees, the opposite side is 1 half over my hypotenuse, which is 1. Well, anything over 1 is just going to be that anything, right? So therefore, the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half divided by 1. The sine of 30 degrees is just equal to 1 half. Now, you can also just take your calculator. And what they're trying to do is get you guys a relationship to understand that the sine of 30 degrees is just going to be equal to 1 half. So if you plug it into your calculator, you can see that it's equal to 1 half. It's also equal to 0.5. Um, what I actually I'll tell you guys to do, 